We know that we are in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. What is the AIMF doing to support member cities that are trying to revive themselves? We have, of course, organized many meetings with the mayors of many French-speaking cities to assess the situation and agreed that all restrictions to vaccines should be lifted so that countries can make their own domestically and vaccinate their populations. Madame Mayor, on the matter of Rwanda that has been able to recover and make progress in the 27 years after the genocide against the Tutsi was halted, but is still countering those who deny the genocide. What is the AIMF doing to support Rwanda in that fight? First, let me say that it is the second time I'm coming to Rwanda in the capacity of the AIMF. Two years ago, we held a small bureau meeting and though we were a few, we discussed the genocide and how rebuilding is possible basing on the examples of the determinations of Rwandans shortly after the genocide was halted. Those discussions are what made us decide to return here as the AIMF. On the issue of remembering the true and accurate history of what really happened and on the matters of justice, it is obvious that the AIMF does not have any special abilities over the matter, but the fact that we are gathered here as Francophone mayors and also that we all agree with the accurate portrayal of the genocide that was perpetrated against the Tutsi and the role of the international community, talking about that history and showing what really happened, I believe will be a way of moving forward and is the responsibility and role of the AIMF. Et de pouvoir évidemment avancer, je crois que c'est un des rôles de l'AIMF. Plus particulièrement pour vous, madame. In particular for you, madame mayor. In Paris, you recently started to hold commemoration activities. How is that fight going that you are involved in? D'abord, je pense que les choses évoluent et qu'elles ont évolué sous l'effet, bien sûr, des associations comme Ibuka. First, I believe things are changing through associations like Ibuka in France. And we came with Ibuka, France president, in this meeting. He played an important role in the acknowledgement of the truth of what happened. Another important step made, I can mention, was the establishment of the Shoah Memorial, which helped me as the mayor of Paris to begin commemoration activities. And during such activities, the testimonies of the genocide survivors was given a lot of emphasis. Then there is what was done by President Macron when he allowed researchers and historians to access the government archives that was followed by the Duclair report that was another important step when it comes to the truth of what really happened and rebuilding process, which is what we are also doing by acknowledging the truth, the gravity of that history and its evil, which is helping to open up opportunities for true cooperation that can be our signature. The Francophonie community should help us in that endeavor. Et le rapport du clair qui est euh, un pas, euh, je crois, euh, travailler à cette fraternité qui doit nous unir. Et la francophonie a un rôle à jouer en ce domaine. Parlons toujours de ce combat. Staying on that struggle. Are the new relations between Rwanda and France helping you? Rwanda et la France. Je pense qu'il y a euh, depuis euh, maintenant euh, quelques années euh, ces, ces relations. I believe those relations have been developing for a few years now. I worked with the Rwandan ambassador in Paris and then met with the officials the way I did here. And I believe there is willingness on both sides to move forward without denying what happened. I also believe that France's society wants to make progress by accepting the history of what happened. You told us that you also came here two years ago. What can you say about Kigali's appearance? Quel est votre point de vue? D'abord, c'est une ville qui est très belle, qui est très très verte, qui est très propre aussi. It is a very beautiful and clean city and one that is rapidly developing. Kigali is also a city that promotes environmental protection a lot and one that I admire when it comes to the development, which is why I reiterate that it is a very beautiful city.